everybody, welcome to another Mac Tips video. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Pixelmator, which is a graphics editing program for Leopard. Uh, you may ask, why would you use something like Pixelmator over Photoshop or even GIMP? And my answer to that is, Photoshop is five, six hundred dollars. It's way too expensive for most users. Pixelmator, on the other hand, is only sixty dollars. Um, you would use Pixelmator over something like GIMP, uh, because GIMP, in my opinion, isn't as user-friendly as Photoshop or even Pixelmator. It, I mean, it certainly is powerful, but if you've never used an image editing program before, it's a little overwhelming uh, navigating around. So, that being said, uh, I'd like to tell you that I'm not an artist, so the things I'm going to show you are going to be very basic, just kind of explaining what Pixelmator is, is capable of. Also, we're going to be giving away two copies of Pixelmator at MacTips.org. So to find out how you can win a copy, go to MacTips.org and you'll see the Pixelator post. You can learn more about that there. So let's get started. I'm going to open up Pixelmator. And the first thing you're going to notice is it's laid out a lot like Photoshop. Um, I mean, you have your... Uh, the menus are a lot the same. Um, toolbar over here, layers, and then the different views that you can um, show or hide. Uh, one cool thing is that your active tool, the icon, is enlarged. So you can always see what your active tool is. Uh, this makes it really easy to just glance over and not only change tools, but find out which, your tool, which tool you're currently using. Now you're going to notice that Pixelmator is really fast. And the reason for this is not only was it built for Leopard, but it was built to do image rendering using your graphics card. So it doesn't use your, your CPU uh, for any of the, or for most of the rendering. So one kind of neat thing is you can do a new layer from EyeSight and you can take a picture directly with your EyeSight. Fortunately, I'm already using EyeSight with ScreenFlow, so uh, EyeSight won't let me do that. But I can just as easily drag an image on from my desktop. And so we have something we can work with here. Okay. So you're going to see the filters are a lot like Photoshop. Um, there's not quite as many, but there's still quite a bit that you can do. Um, you're going to notice this crazy little uh, attachment from the tool to the picture. And this is, I mean, I haven't really found a great reason for this, but it seems like it's just so you can keep track of where the dot is on your image for where you're going to perform the effect. If you don't like this, you can turn it off. Um, I happen to think it's cool, so I'm going to leave it, leave it on. Um, So, you can see here I'm doing a distort. What's interesting is when I move this around, it's extremely fast. There's, there's absolutely no lag here. Um, and that's one thing you're going to see time and time again with Pixelmator, that it's just extremely, extremely fast when rendering images. Um, we can go to some other ones here. Zoom blur is kind of cool to look at. And then you see wherever you drag the dot, it's going to be your your cent your center point. So this is I mean this is pretty cool because it's doing a lot of processing and it's not slowing down my computer at all. And Pixelmator is keeping up extremely well. And again, this is because it uses your graphics card instead of your CPU. Um, I mean, there's a lot of filters. We're just going to touch on on a couple here. If I was an artist, I could probably tell you more of what exactly this is doing. But it looks like it's um, color replacement with contrast. Um, so, you kind of go into more abstract looks. Kind of create like a neat mosaic type thing. I 
apparently doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> Um, it is kind of a neat one. Lenticular halo. You can kind of make me look like I'm a god. So just kind of different effects that you can create. One of uh, the coolest ones I found, which is Page Curl. Now this does something that's very cool if you're a designer and you're doing mock-ups um, to add a little extra effect to your designs. Uh, what you're going to do as you can see here, when I change these values, it changes which corner and how much it's performing a page curl uh, for that particular corner. So I can do cool things like uh, do the top left, bottom left, bottom right. Um, I can tell it how much I want it to curl. And what's interesting is when you start to go past halfway, it starts to show the reverse of the image. So if you're if you're a graphics artist, um, Pixelmator really does have some very powerful tools built right in. I mean, obviously you can do all this in Photoshop, but the amount of time it would take um, would of course vary on how proficient you are. But uh, Pixelmator has all this built right in. So that's I mean that's extremely powerful for quickly creating mockups and making them look nice. Um, one of some of the other cool features are it has a photo browser. We can pull images from iPhoto, uh, Photo Booth. Um, and I mean, it has most of the other basic features that Photoshop has, but there are a couple missing. I know, for example, masks, uh, channels, alpha channels. Um, some of the more advanced features in Photoshop, you're not going to find them in Pixelmator yet. Um, that's not to say that they're not going to be added in the future, because I do believe that they're planning on uh, trying to compete heavily with Photoshop. But right now, if you're looking for uh, a little more lightweight image editing program that's extremely fast, but still feature-packed, uh, you should definitely give Pixelmator a try. And as I said in the intro, we're giving away two copies, so if you're interested in this, uh, go to MacTips.org and go to the Pixelmator post, and you can find out how you can win. Thanks. Oh.